please welcome Jason Rivera to the blue corner. All right, so we are starting the pro portion of our prelims car, Jason Rivera. Yeah, Jason Rivera, another 10 Planet guy, and you know his one in, his one and three record. You know, he's trained with Vanderlei Silva out in Vegas before he came to Austin. But this dude is their best boxer on their team. He's their boxing coach. Andrew Craig says this guy is really, really good. Again, has you know nothing but nice things to say about him, but is the best boxer at their gym. At 38 years old, he's here because he loves it. You know, this is a this is a this is something that fighting is in his blood. So, um, you know, I look for this to be if he can keep this on the feet, this may be close. Has an interesting career path in that in his last fight out lost to Hector Steins due to an injury round three kick to the cup. It was uh, pretty brutal. But before that, hadn't fought since 2014. So had that long delay that took a year off to recover and get back into it. Making that debut again, it seems like. So trying to get a little bit more into it. But as you mentioned, he just loves to fight. And that's at the end of the day, that's what it is. He is inside. Let's meet his opponent. Please welcome to the red corner, Kyle Todrank. Kyle Todrank making his pro debut. Yeah, it's actually kind of weird how this fight came together. Um, already in the cage. We have Rivera. He was actually supposed to fight one of Joe's teammates who unfortunately got injured. And then Kyle's original opponent also no showed. So Kyle went up a weight class day of weigh-ins to take this fight. And he's making this debut. I know we've seen some really good wrestling and subs, but I mean, Kyle's got some Purdue wrestling experience. This is a long-awaited pro debut. He was our previous 145 Fury champ. It was cool to see the torch patch down to Joe and and so on. And while, actually, while you were in there, we had Michael Haslow Jr. on the call, also a former champ. So, oh yeah, man, the 145ers are bad ass. Yeah, the 145, the 125, 35, and 45 divisions is becoming really something to talk about in the country on the on the Fury roster. It is unbelievable those three weight classes, and then you go up, you know, the middleweight class also. Our sales tape brought to you by Sheath Underwear. You see a huge reach advantage for Jason Rivera, the 38-year-old out there trying to get another win against the debuter, Kyle Podrink. Let's get our official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest brought to you by SheathUnderwear.com is scheduled for three rounds in the Fury FC Lightweight Division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, and he weighed in officially at 157.8 pounds. Fighting out of Austin, Texas, by way of the Bronx, New York. Today, he looks for his second win as a pro. Here is Jason Rivera. And introducing his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. This freestyle fighter stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, and he weighed in at 154.2 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, by way of Evansville, Indiana, today. He makes his professional debut. Here is Cutthroat, Kyle to drink. Your referee in charge of the action, Jeff Rexroad. In his final amateur fight, Kyle Toadrank got that win over Elijah Peck, which was a really good display. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. oh Rivera man. immediately going to work. <laughs> yeah, that. Ooh. Oh. It's funny. I mean, as, as cool as an opening as that was, this is the last place he wants to be. His bottom position with this this high level collegiate wrestler on top. Man, he watched the Jorge Masvidal Ben Askren <laughs> fight a thousand times. <laughs> to, <laughs> You know, the superior wrestler wanted to go in and try to finish it quick. 
But you're right, Alex, he's in some trouble now. Yeah, Kyle finds himself in fully exposed tie control. Back to half, back to half. Push that half guard. Revere's looking maybe for a triangle head choke, pressure. but Good it's going to be tough. I mean, the, the moment wrestlers jump into jujitsu mats, there's two things they don't have to defend triangles and guillotines. And as a person who's tried to triangle Kyle, he's not easily triangle. <laughs> I'll tell you though, Rivera did a good job building his base back to his feet. Yeah, Rivera, primarily a boxer, but you know, training at 10th Planet, he's got a lot of grapplers there, a lot of high-level guys there to train with. So yeah, Rivera definitely wants this to be a striking match, and you can see Toe Drink is right in on him, trying to get this back to the mat. Told you to do that knee to the hip. And very, very close. Rex Road looking in there to make sure he's no low blows being delivered. Nice trip there from Cutthroat Kyle. He's just all over the hips. Rivera doing a good job building his base back to his feet yet again. And it's something Kyle could do all day long. I will throw that, that downward elbow. He says, I'm a pro now. I can throw elbows. And it also allowed reinforced knees to the head. Oh, man. Good combo good sprawler from Rivera. What you'll see Kyle do is like sit through and then reshot. He, these wrestlers are really good at the just the chain wrestling. Oh, Often wow. He's got to uh -oh. watch the triangle. He's got to. Yep, you see his coach is calling for a, to clear the head. Looks like Rivera's kind of in between a triangle and Kimura. Yeah, so it's very close now, but I mean, that's a control position triangle. It's not an actual triangle yet, but he's getting very close, Alex. If he switches to figure four, yep, it's going to be an it. issue. Yeah. Uh oh, two yeah, minutes tight. left. Oh, this is a good angle. Kyle's looking to slip out. It's, 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 this is, I guarantee you this is horribly uncomfortable, but it's just a little shallow. Oh, big arm bar. Kyle could try to step over. As he does, he's just, just got, he's just trying to slip out. It's the strength of the figure four that's keeping his head and arm trapped. You that's some it. grown man strength right there. And it's going to be difficult to slip out with that angle. I mean, there are, he's a perfect, Rivera's a perfect 90 degree angle. This is where you can slip out from whenever you're, Basically in line with the rest of their body. Yeah, and I know this is, I mean, this has got to be the worst to be caught in. Now, that is extremely tight, Alex. It's just a little shallow. I could just, I could see Todd Rank's tricep peeking out the back. I mean, I guarantee you this is nightmare fuel, but Kyle's just gutting it out. There's still so much time with Leak. What Kyle can't let Rivera do is get his arm across, and he slips out. <laughs> he tried to front kick him in the face. <laughs> Now we'll see how much that took out of the tank of Rivera. Well, you can see it took a little out of the tank of Kyle, too, because he was pro there was probably a couple moments in there where he was having to control his breathing, maybe hold his breath even to, you know, try to get that out. He had to gut out that arm. I mean, those, there were two arm attempts that were just tight. And Rivera's showing he's got a ground game there, so. Yeah, yeah he sure was. Ooh, Ooh, nice man. little lead hook from both guys, though. I think Kyle oddly enough landed the better punch in that exchange. A little liver hook there from Rivera. Some pressure here from Cutthroat. He's looking for those elbows, maybe a little too much. Oh man! man. Ten seconds left. This is this is a fight, man. These guys got it. This is a bizarre score. This is an excellent first pro fight of the night. I mean. All right, I'm glad we're getting a round two in this oh, yeah, one because that too. was fun. <laughs> Shoot, man. Yeah, man. Alex, I think, uh, I think uh, Rivera may have won that first round. I mean, it was in that triangle choke, had it, even though he lost it. I mean, that was a, that was a deep, deep attempt. And he landed some good shots here. 
Hop did have some moments here where he had some control, but Rivera able to get back up. Here's that front kick. As soon as his feet, <laughs> as soon as his hands came off the mat, he went straight for that front kick. Rivera doing a good job of trying to work the body of, of Toe Drank also. And that's that boxing background, man. He is working as, as much as he can. And Kyle probably feeling the, the difference now, you know, those five-minute rounds versus the three-minute rounds, and then, you know, also being in there with kind of a salty, you know, kind of a dog fight that he's in now. So it's a very good first fight, good first round for, for both guys. Both guys have a manic smile on their face <laughs> right now. Nice left hand from Rivera. Don't you starting off round two being the aggressor? Quick takedown there from Kyle. He's got to try to, you know, at least advance into half guard when this, when this, when this open guard is just kind of wide open. Because Rivera has shown, I mean, the ability to go for subs off his back. I mean, this sort of fine wrestlers is rough. You know, they get you down in the first, you mount some offense, you maybe get back up, but then they get you down again and again. And just eventually either breaks down morale or kills the, the gas tank. But Rivera very much still in this fight to win this fight. It doesn't seem like he's faded too much. And that's about as frantic as a pace would get in a fight. That first round was insane, opening with a flying knee. Yeah, and Kyle with the perfect head position whenever he's in these positions, so... You know, it makes it really, really difficult to, to get him off center. You see Rivera in that scramble, almost controlling that breathing a little bit, trying to find something. But, man, this is going to be hard to get out of. Kyle so good in this position. And Rivera complaining to the referee about something. I can't tell what he said, but... Maybe he said this guy won't stop hitting me. Yeah. <laughs> this is a weird yeah, what is tie this? up. Oh, Kyle going for a twister here for uh -oh. set up. Uh, okay, yeah, he's got yeah, it. Oh, he is, goodness. and he's got it. Oh, oh my, no oh, way. Wow. No way. That's the craziest. Twister. Are you kidding me? He lost the arm. What a weird position. Oh, to man, he's going to oh. Twisted position. Oh my goodness. I've wow. never seen anybody put themselves into the twister offense position from yeah. there. That's the craziest. That is exactly how you get submission of the year on the last card of the year. Whoa. That is the first twister recall ever. I, I, ever, I, 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 I don't know. Would not see what I'm doing. No, I would know. I love twisters. Yeah. I didn't know Kyle had it in him. That's insane. Look at this setup. Man. This is from the top side. Wow. He's got one hook in, and then if you've never had a twister on you, oh. show up to the Gracie Baja Woodlands. Alex Morona will twister you. It is the worst feeling you can possibly imagine. Wow. That is a unbelievably wow. rare submission Man. on a 10th planet guy. That's, the, that's so crazy. Everybody in the crowd lost it. That was a crazy, like, I don't know if you saw k side. Everybody stood up like, what? We just saw a twister. Yeah, every jiu-jitsu practitioner in the in the building just jumped to the ceiling. That was that was so crazy. Yeah, definitely give Kyle Kodrank, that's the mission of the night, private label bag. Well, we got to get him on the mic. That was historical. That was Man. awesome. All right, let's make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes. Two minutes, nine seconds into round number two. Declaring your winner by tap out due to a twister. Cutthroat, Kyle Toadrain. And with that win, he picks up a private label performance bonus. I'm here with your winner, Kyle 
toe drag. Tal, every jiu-jitsu practitioner in this building just jumped to the ceiling whenever you saw that twister, and the setup was unbelievable. Submission of the year by a mile, in my opinion. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I got two things to say. Firstly, I took this fight at 165, 160 pounds when I weighed 145 24 hours ago. I'm a fucking competitor, and I'm here to fucking win. Two... If anybody wants to fight me in this division, I'll eat your fucking heart. Well, we believe in it, and you just showed that you're capable of just that. Your winner, Kyle Toe Drink.